What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I have an RGB mouse pad comparison for you guys. As crazy as that sounds, yes we have mouse pads that light up. In front of me, I have the Corsair MM800 RGB mouse pad and the Razer Firefly. Two of the pretty much only RGB mouse pads here from major companies. And the reason these things are popular is because it allows you to match your entire setup's theme to a certain color or aesthetic. And that's why these really sell, appealing to that craze of RGB fans. So, if you're in the market for an RGB mouse pad, we'll get into the comparison of the Razer Firefly and the Corsair MM800 Polaris. First off, they're both pretty much the same size, with the Razer Firefly being 355 by 255 millimeters and the Polaris being 250 by 260 millimeters with a larger forehead if you will. And speaking of which, the top of the mouse pad is bigger for a reason. There's a USB slot there so you can plug in your mouse straight into it and not have to take up another slot on your PC. On the flip side, both have a rubberized texture on the bottom so it doesn't slip around on your desk. However, there is some difference here and it is noticeable. Razer Firefly is a little less grippy, with the rubber feeling very, very similar to that of a basketball. And then the Polaris has these larger raised hexagon shapes on the bottom. While it's not a huge difference, there was definitely more of a grip on the Polaris mouse pad on my desk than the Firefly, but unless you're like aggressively moving around, I don't think they'll be sliding off your desk anytime soon. Both mouse pads have a similar feeling micro texture surface, which is fine for all sensor types and will be great for either speed or controlled play styles. So the textures are pretty much feeling the same. And in terms of flexibility, obviously they're not like a cloth mouse pad at all. And there still is some give due to the light strip in them. But I would say that the Polaris is just ever so slightly a little bit thicker overall. Now we'll get into the important things, the RGB lighting effects. Now obviously as the main selling point, both mouse pads light up and add to the aesthetics of your setup with some cool lighting effects. First off, right off the bat, the Polaris as you can see is a tad bit brighter due to the construction of the mouse pad. The light strip is visible on top while the Razer Firefly, the majority of the light strip is on the bottom to give it that underglow. We'll take a closer look at each one and their own lighting effects to give you all a better idea of how they look. First with the Corsair Polaris, we have the very popular spiral rainbow effect that displays all 16.8 million colors, which looks pretty cool. Then is the rainbow wave, which will just cycle through the colors in a wave-like pattern. And you can set the wave to go in whatever direction you want. Next is visor, and this sends these flashes of lights around the mouse pad. This is probably my favorite. You can have it flash random colors or pick two so it alternates them back and forth to match your color preferences. Now we have the color shift, which is just going to shift between all the colors. No fading to black here just purely switching colors, it's pretty simple. And color pulse is pretty much the same thing, but this time it does fade to black in between colors. And then color wave is kind of like a slower pulse effect. Not too different here, kind of pointless if you ask me. And then is where it gets interesting with the static color. There are 15 zones here on the Polaris that you can change individually to either have the entire mouse pad one static color, or change each zone to a color to make your own design, which is something the Razer Firefly does not have. Right now you have to make a new layer for each different color you choose. Not too sure why or else it won't save, but I think in an update they'll probably make the customization of the zones a lot easier. But still, it's pretty cool that you can actually change each zone on the mouse pad. And then you can do things like link the lights to your peripherals. For example, like your Corsair keyboard or your Corsair mouse, it will do the same effect in unison as you can see with this rain effect here as the colors pretty much go together. And there's things like the ripple type lighting, which looks pretty cool. When you type on your keyboard, it'll go and ripple to your mouse and mouse pad. I don't have a Corsair mouse on hand at the moment or else it would be doing the same thing too. And this is gonna go the same for Razer as well. You can link all your peripherals lighting effects. So now to the Firefly. Again, the stock effect is named Rainbow Wave here. But underneath on the effect dropdown, you can see that the reactive is not lit up. That's what I was just referring to. You can link your peripherals effects. Next is breathing, where it breathes the colors in and out. Like with most effects, you can pick your own two colors or choose random. Spectrum cycling is gonna cycle through the entire color spectrum. No fading out. Static, again, just self-explanatory, where you pick one static color for your mouse pad to glow, whatever color you want. 
And that's pretty much it. The last effect is wave, which we saw earlier, which is stock. You can pick what direction the wave goes in. But one cool thing Razer has going for the Firefly is in their Chroma Apps tab, where you can go in and download certain developer-made effects from the community that links to certain games. I couldn't quite figure it out to demonstrate it, but it is cool they give you that freedom. An example would be downloading an effect for a game like Rocket League, where before the match starts, your mouse pad will pulse for the match countdown, and it'll light up to whatever color of the team you're on. Now we'll get into the pros and cons and advantages for each to kind of sum up the mouse pad comparison. First off, I want to say the Polaris retail is $59.99. And when the Firefly first launched, it was also that price point. But now pretty much wherever you look, you can find the Firefly for $49.99. But for $10 more in the Polaris, you're getting a mouse pad that I think has a brighter lighting effect overall, a USB hub on top, and more of a variety in terms of lighting effects. I think that 15 zone customization is pretty cool. Then for $10 less for the Firefly, you have the same thing but without a USB hub, the lights are not as bright and there's less effects to pick from and you can't change the zones. However, the whole Chroma Apps developer thing is cool for downloading other effects if you can figure that out. But I mean, Razer does get some points for originality here because the Firefly launched over a year ago. So Corsairs has some time to implement their own, put it out in the market and kind of fix some things and make a better product in the end. But I mean, in reality, you're still getting a mouse pad with lights. It'll perform the same. Both textures are very similar. And that's all that matters, isn't it? One thing I wanted to mention, not in favor of the Polaris, is the USB hub on top is cool, but it's kind of whatever, because I still had the cable from my mouse on my desk. It didn't eliminate having to deal with another cable. Either way, you're still gonna have unwanted cables on your desk, but at least you're not taking up another slot on your PC for the mouse pad and the mouse. So guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my comparison of the Corsair Polaris and the Razer Firefly mouse pad. RGB mouse pads, as crazy as that is to think of, we have them. And hopefully this video gave you a better idea of which one you should buy. I will put both of the products linked in the description down below, as well as my dedicated reviews for each one as well. You can check them out. Again, I'll put them in the description. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.